sure and fair. Close your eyes and make believe that you can be anywhere. Kermit loves adventure, Miss Piggy is a star. Summer loves to paint and Fozzie's jokes are... Waka waka! Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. Animals on drums, guns goes off in a flash. Everybody duck, cause I think he's gonna... Is everything all right out here? Yes, Miss Nanny! Muppet Babies, they make their dreams come true. Muppet Babies, they'll do the same for you. Gonzorella! Heads up! Hey, Piggy. Hey, Summer. What are you doing? We're making invitations for the party we're throwing later today. You're all invited to our royal ball. Animal already had a ball. Not that kind of ball, Animal. A royal ball is a big, fancy party held in a castle. Like the one in Cinderella? Cinderella? <gasps> you never heard the story of Cinderella? She wanted to go to this royal ball, but she had nothing fancy to wear. Lucky for her, though, she had a fairy godmother. And with a wave of her wand, the fairy godmother gave Cinderella a real fancy dress. And matching glass slippers. Glass slippers? ha -cha! But the fairy godmother warned Cinderella that she had to leave before cake o'clock. Because that's when her fancy schmancy dress would disappear. Of course she forgot. Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't worry, it all turns out okay in the end. She lives happily ever after. <gasps> I think there's a picture of her in our royal handbook. There sure is. That's her. Wow. Get a load of that dress. I'd love to wear a dress like that to your royal ball. But Gonzo, Piggy and I are the princesses. We wear the dresses. That's right. According to the royal handbook, the girls come as princesses and the boys come as knights. Oh. Uh, right. Aw, uh, don't worry, Gonzo. We're gonna have a great time being knights. Fabulous! Summer and I are off to pick out our dresses. <laughs> we better get ready, too. Forward, fellow knights! Huzzah! Huzzah! Hey, Gonzo. You okay? Not exactly. I really wish I could wear one of those princess dresses to the ball. Well, I hate to see a good pal feeling bad. So tell you what, I am going to grant your wish, because I am your very rat father! We've been liver worse. I didn't know you were a fairy rat father. Well, you never asked. Anyway, I'm going to make sure you have the perfect dress to wear to the ball. But the girl said I'm not supposed to wear a dress. I don't want everyone to be upset with me. Well, if it makes you feel better, I can make your outfit so amazing, they won't even know it's you. You mean it? All right, then. Let's do it. You got it. bippity buffity boo -ba. <gasps> Have you ever seen such a splendorific dress? And get a load of my glass sneakers. Thank you, Fairy Rat Father. This makes me so happy. But I'm not done yet. To get to the ball, you're gonna need some wheels. An egg? Oh, uh, what you need that for? bippity boppity boop <laughs> Wow, a hard-boiled convertible? <laughs> now remember, you gotta skedaddle from the ball before cake o'clock. That's when the magic wears off and your fancy clothes will go back to normal. So get going already. Thank you, fairy rat father. Royal ball, here I come! Hey, Piggy! Hey, Summer! We knights are ready for the royal ball! Yeah! High five! You don't give a princess a high five! The royal handbook says there's only one way to greet a princess. Vu must bow, and then we will curtsy. I guess uh, okay. the handbook. Much better. Please follow us inside. <laughs> Wow. wow! To begin the evening, we shall... Um, hello, everyone. 
Huh? Uh, uh, look, it's... It's... A mysterious new princess! Ooh, I like mysteries! Princess. <sighs> I'm Princess Summer. What's your name? Uh, you can call me... Gonzarella. Hey, Hello, Gonzarella. Gonzarella. Well, we're happy to have you, Gonzarella. And your dress is simply fabulous. Let's all greet each other with a princess curtsy. Uh, sure. <laughs> curtsy. Wow. I've never seen a curtsy quite like that before. It was very different. Oh, well, that's how we curtsy in my kingdom of, uh, Clockatonia. Where? Clockatonia, land of a thousand chickens. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on then. You're just in time for our first activity. We shall begin the royal ball by making our own crowns. All right. All right. <laughs> As the royal handbook shows us, one takes a crown, glues on a sparkly diamond, and voila! A magnificent. All done. What do you think? Um, Gonzarella, are those eggs and feathers? The crowns in the princess handbook only have a sparkly diamond. Yeah, I guess I made mine a little different, but it's also pretty splendorific, don't you think? Yeah, yeah I think really so. I guess it is pretty fabulous. Well, yours can be different too. Want to try? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yes. Come on. Gotta love me a dress with pockets, am I right? Animus crown rocks! Looking good, Fuzzy. Feeling good, Kermit. <laughs> Gonzarella was right. Your crowns all look magnifique. And now that they're done, it's time for the very best part of our ball. The Royal Dance! Royal Dance! Dance! Follow me! Oh boy, oh boy, I love dancing. Sir Animal Boogie down! <laughs> Princess Summer, if you please. My pleasure. As you can see in the handbook, the dancers stand in a ring, greet each other, and circle to the right. Then they greet each other again and circle back to the left. But that's not Boogie. Well, I know, but this is how they've danced at Royal Ball since super duper olden times. We can't just change it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I kind of thought the royal dance would be more fun. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. oh no, Princess Piggy. Our royal ball is turning into a royal snooze. I know how to spice this party up with the Cluckatonian promenade. The what? A promenade's a fancy kind of dance. I don't see anything about a promenade in the dances here. We can't possibly do... <laughs> right. Yeah, we better try it. Oh, boy, you won't be sorry. Huh? Promenade! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, everybody. <laughs> Promenade! <laughs> I used on you wears off at the final stroke of cake o'clock. Moldy guacamole, I forgot. If my dress disappears, they'll know it's me. <gasps> I gotta get out of here. Gonzarella, where are you going? Uh, hey, come uh, back! Uh, 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 oh, my glass sneaker! Gonzarella! <laughs> Close. Aren't you glad you made it out in time? No. I didn't want to leave the royal ball, but everyone would have been upset if they knew it was me wearing that princess dress. Gonzo, are you sure about that? Because it seems to me 
maybe they just would have been surprised that you wanted to wear a princess dress. It's different from what they're used to, you know? But trying something different can be fun. Exactly. And at the Royal Ball, you helped them see that, right? Well, yeah. They love their new crowns. Mm-hmm. And they had fun doing the Clockatonian promenade. So? So, maybe if they're okay with those things being different, they'd be okay with me wearing a princess dress, too? Gonzo! I think now's your chance to find out. There you are. You missed our royal ball. We met the most amazing princess. But they ran away, and all they left behind was this. Everyone, there's something I need to tell you. The princess who came to your ball tonight was me. <laughs> I'm Gonzarella. <gasps> but Gonzo, why didn't Vu tell us? Because you all expected me to look a certain way. I don't want you to be upset with me. But I don't want to do things just because that's the way they've always been done, either. I want to be me. Oh, Gonzo, we're sorry. It wasn't very nice of us to tell you what to wear to our ball. You're our friend, and we love you any way you are. Yeah, totally. yeah of course we do. Yeah. I say we get rid of this old royal handbook and make a better one. And in our new handbook, everyone can come to the ball dressed however they like. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and they all live happily ever after. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo-boo!